Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a sub-genre of EDC item known as the OPMT or One Piece Multi-Tool. Such tools have been around for a surprisingly long time. A few years ago they went up in popularity especially with the um, Piranha OPMT sold by Leatherman. I believe that particular multi-tool was made by a much smaller company along with a handful of other OPMT tools and Leatherman I believe bought them out or at the very least bought the rights to that small handful of one-piece multi-tools. As I said the Leatherman Piranha tool, especially the original version, best example of an OPMT. I believe that was the one that really made them popular, at least for a little while. The concept is that if you're not someone who really needs a multi-tool on a regular basis, but you do want to have some capability, rather than carrying a big, bulky, traditional multi-tool, instead you carry a one-piece multi-tool. Usually they are card-shaped, like a standard credit card size. Oftentimes the design of the tool is that of some sort of an animal based on the available features and honestly with the exception of the Leatherman Piranha tool and a couple of other OPMTs the vast majority of one piece multi-tools really are gimmicks I'm sorry but that's what I've seen that's what I've experienced. Some of them, there's one in particular, again, credit card shaped on the outside. On the inside, the company that made it, made it resemble a reclining monkey. I am not joking. There is an OPMT out there credit card shaped, the interior design is that of a reclining monkey. I think the tail is supposed to be used as a letter opener or something along those lines. Well, today we're going to take a look at the Columbia River Knife and Tool Viva. This is one of the more well-known of the OPMTs out there. It's, it's one of the few that's not card-shaped. Uh, it still sort of resembles an animal. It kind of resembles a weird-looking fish, maybe a tadpole with its mouth open. Now, this multi-tool is made by, I'm sorry, designed by Leong Ma. I'm sure I'm butchering his name and I do apologize for that. That's L-I-O-N-G, last name M-A-H. Now, there will be specs in the description below as usual. Let's take a closer look. First off, extremely thin. Most OPMTs are extremely thin. The Viva, no exception. What you get is wrenches, different sizes here. You get your ubiquitous bottle opener and a large flathead screwdriver. Now this particular end here, 
That's supposed to be a one-fourth hex head wrench, but it's perfectly circular, so I'm, I'm a little doubtful as to how effective that will be. Let's be honest, most people are going to use this as mostly a large flat screwdriver or a bottle opener. That's pretty much it. It does have a stone washed finish. It's not titanium. Just wanted to emphasize that. You might be able to use this portion here, this particular corner. You might be able to use it as a box opener. Now, it's a little too thin to be used as a pry bar, maybe for extremely light duty pry jobs, prying out a staple, something like that. But this is mostly emphasized as a large screwdriver, not as a pry tool. Now, ironically, one thing that Columbia River Knife and Tool does not talk about, does not advertise with this OPMT, is the fact that you can take this and you can thread it right through a belt loop, both standard pants and the wider belt loops typically found on cargo pants. And what that means is if you get a large split ring, you can put it through the eye of this multi-tool, have your keys dangle down, and then thread this through a belt loop, and this becomes a keychain dangler. You can put it on your belt, it'll lay flat. You can put this end into a pocket in case you're worried that the open end might cause this tool to fall out with your keys. Now, I've noticed that this does work somewhat well as a dangler. Personally, I don't like the fact that it's open down here, but that's just me. If you don't mind that, this actually makes a very good keyring dangler. You can EDC your keys on it. Again, make sure the split ring is wide. Fold the split ring over on top. Use it as a bottle opener. Use it as a large screwdriver. It actually works pretty well considering its limited functionality. Clearly it has less features than most OP MTs do, but the fact that it has less features ironically makes it more useful with the features that it actually does have. If you want a really good keyring dangler for EDCing your keys, and again, not advertised by Columbia River Knife and Tool anywhere on the packaging for that purpose. And you'd like to have a bottle opener and a large flathead screwdriver as well. This is actually a good choice. It really is. It's not titanium, but it's very inexpensive. And for its limited functionality, it actually works pretty well. This side is completely flat. This one, all of the edges rounded. So it's not sharp for gripping, for using. It's actually very nicely rounded here, completely flat here. Works really well for what it is. I'm really surprised that Columbia River Knife and Tool does not advertise this as a keyring dangler. Also, if you happen to be a smoker, you'll probably recognize this as one of the items that you can get through Marlboro's 
rewards program. Yeah, that kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's usually not a good thing because the items they offer on that program, usually not the best, but you can get genuine Swiss Army knives and you can get this. For what it is as an OPMT, it's a pretty good one, so it does get a conditional recommendation from me. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.